But I can tell you, you know, over the course of my poker career is eight years now, you know. Uh, nobody really give me advice on staying calm or, or not tilting, you know, they know I'm I might be better than them in that department, you know, but yeah, I do get a lot of uh, tips and learn a lot from asking players about certain hands, you know. And with a few, one or two closer ones that we would over drink, sometimes we, we talk about poker strategy in our game. The one that is very fascinating is the WSOP main event, you know. You can learn a lot from watching the pros play those hands. You know, wow, sometimes I watch it and I say, oh yeah, I have encountered a situ situation like this before, you know, and I play that hand bad, I should have played it this way. Also, you know, uh, you have videos on cash games, on YouTube, on, on certain channels or on certain uh, poker sites, you know, which are very useful, you know, like uh, Poker After Dark, in the US. I, I myself find it very helpful, you know, it, it helps in my game a lot. I would not give a certain set of pattern to play those type of hands, you know. Uh, but generally, people go set mining with small pair. But uh, sometimes if you are on the button and the small and big blind, uh, amateur players who you think you are superior to them, you, you, know, you, you can rest with a lot of small pair too. You know, even in the cut off, it all comes back for me. It all comes back to who am I playing against. If I play against a pro, I would not rest pocket five in this spot. But if I play against an amateur player, I might rest with pocket five on that spot. I would say 99% of the time is either race or fall for me. But I would go most of the time I would race, I would open uh, with that hand, you know. And also depends uh, how many handed game. Let's say if it's a 10 handed game, 9 handed game, it's alright to fall 8 nine suited under the gun sometimes. You see nowadays the modern game is such that you know you don't find many people limping in early position. You know, it's either fall or race. You know, the game has evolved to that stage. And uh, I think it's it's right, you know. Uh, if you limp in and then there's two callers, like it's like 90% of the time someone uh, behind will make a big race. You know, and you cannot see the flop, which is like wasting money. If you play against a pro, never try to guess their hand by their stack size. You know, they mix it up so well. But if you're play, playing against amateur players, usually their stack size will give you a hint of what their cards is. You know, like for example, S King, they raise five X of big blind or of someone else race. If with aces, they will raise three X of big blind or someone else bad size. And uh, if you have kings, he tend to raise four X. If you have aces, he tends to raise two and a half X or three X. In, in those situations, again, amateur players, you know, you, you kind of get a, a guess of what their cut is by their bad size. If you are good, you know, and if you have a small bankroll, I think it's wise to, to ask people to stack you so you have a bigger bankroll, you know. So, because with a small bankroll, it's very hard to play the game, you know. In certain situations, you are pressured, you know, where you can't play your normal game. You should call, but you fold it because you have not much bankroll left, you know. Uh, my advice is try to get a sizable bankroll for certain game. Then, uh, when you have 
the amount of bankroll you feel comfortable playing. Let's say three buy-in instead of two, all right, and uh, ten buy-ins instead of five for short deck game. You know, uh, I think you, to be comfortable in the game is very important, and that is when you have a nice bankroll. And uh, if you are amateur players and you, you know the money is very important to you, I would <laughs> I would advise not to play the game anymore until you have. You have learned the game from some pros to a certain level where the pros say, ah, now I think you can beat most games. That's my advice.